Welcome to a short but hopefully informative tutorial on how to edit and create your own drum sample libraries and sample files with the SPL Drum Exchanger. Not only is the Drum Exchanger a very innovative drum replacement tool and comes with four pre-made sample drum kits, the Drum Exchanger also lets you edit and save your own custom-made sample files with its own editor. So let's get started and sample some sounds that we then use in the Drum Exchanger. So here in Pro Tools, I have created three mono tracks. Mono because the drum exchanger works in mono and it is meant to be used on mono tracks like a bass drum or a snare. So I need an instrument track, a MIDI track and an audio track. On the instrument track, I have opened a drum library. It doesn't really matter which one it is as long as it contains the sounds and drums that you like and need for your session. I use the MIDI track to trigger the instrument track and I have routed the audio out of the instrument track into the audio track so that I can record the triggered drum. In this case, I'll trigger a bass drum. So along the grid I draw 8 MIDI notes because the editor can combine 8 samples into one sample file with the exception of the snare for which you can add an additional 9th sample for the rim shot. Once I am done creating those 8 MIDI notes, I give them a steadily decreasing velocity so that I end up with 8 drum hits with 8 decreasing volumes. Then I record those to the audio track. After recording them, I have to cut them into eight individual clips. Here I use the grid mode to help me achieve that and get clips of the same size. Once I have cut and spliced those clips, I should label them properly so I don't import them into the drum exchanger in the wrong order, which would lead to crazy volume changes in your drum track. Once I have labeled the clips correctly, I will then export them to a folder possibly within the session folder where I want to use them or in a folder where I want to create a whole custom library of my own. The next thing I do is open the Drum Exchanger plugin and go into the editor. As you can see, you can load up to 27 samples, that includes three rim shots for the snares, into the editor. Eight different volumes and three variations per volume. For our example, I will only use the first row with eight samples. Now I load the individual samples in the order of decreasing volume from one to eight. Once I have them all loaded in, I can export this session into a single SPLX file. Then I can open my actual session where I want to use those samples as replacements or just as an enhancement or support for what is already there. Of course you can do this with snares, toms, kick drums and all other sorts of percussion instruments, basically with everything that has a good and solid transient. Now actually setting the drum exchanger and replacing those drum sounds is really easy and a fun process that I have already explained in other videos. Of course the drum exchanger is available in all common plugin formats like RTAS, AU, VST and AAX and works both on Windows and Mac. If you want to try out the Drum Exchanger, you can go to www.plugin-alliance.com, download it there and check it out for 14 days without any restrictions. More information on the plugin is also available on spl.info. Now thanks for watching and I hope that you have a lot of fun experimenting and trying out those plugins. Hope to see you again soon and bye bye. Oh, and here are those links to those videos again.